Good morning, Francis Schaefer, Precision Soil Management, Redfield. I want to talk a little bit about Microsoft Excel and macros, which are code within Excel that do certain functions. We use a lot of macros in our new cost input sheet and our cost of production summary sheet. So I want to be able to instruct you how to enable those and disable them. Uh, also, I'm going to show you how to determine what version of Microsoft Excel you have so that you know it's current enough to run these macros. And if you have Microsoft 2003 or prior versions, it's not going to work. So you, I open up my start menu. I come up here to Excel. And then I highlight it, right click, and I go properties. And it tells me right there, it's Excel 2016. Now, I'm not exactly sure how it will look if it's 2003 or 7 or whatever. So you'll have to be able to determine that. Now, in order to um, change macros, I always open a completely empty blank workbook or spreadsheet or whatever you want to call it. So you get, it looks like this, you come up to file and then you have these choices. And you come down to options. Now, macros are code and they can be dangerous. Typically that's how viruses are sent. They're their code built into um, a seemingly innocent file, such as Microsoft Excel or Word or something like that, that you open and it automatically activates the code and it runs. So you have to determine whether you trust the Excel's workbooks or you don't. So you come to Trust Center then your only choice here is these trust center settings and now we have macro settings right there so you select macro settings and typically yours will show some sort of disabled whether it's disabled without notification disabled with notification and i don't know if this one applies to us or not i'd have to talk to missy about that it's disable all macros except digitally signed macros. Not sure what that means, and I'm really not sure if we use that. I personally leave mine to enable all macros. Now the caution is not recommended. It's potentially dangerous code can run. So they're warning you that if you enable this, you better make sure you're only opening ones that you come from a trusted source. The other thing you can do, instead of doing this, you can identify, or you can do both, trusted locations. Now I'm going to remove mine. And it should have your Dropbox folder that's connected to Precision Soil Management as a trusted location. If it doesn't, you go to Add New Location, and then you're going to have to Browse and find where your, your Dropbox folder that you share with us or we share with you is located. Now I'm gonna tell you where mine is. I know mine is under the C drive and I know it's in the users folder and I know it is in this profile of mine. I've got multiple profiles. You may or may not. I just happen to know it's in this one because I've had to look for it before. Now there it is. Now I have a personal one that has pictures, camera uploads, that sort of thing. And then I have the Precision Soil one which is the connection to all my all clients within Precision Soil Management. Now if you only have one, you may want to open it up and then say you have picture folders in here you may want to select the only one that's trusted location is the one that is connected to precision soil management 
So for Bob Holdsworth, this would be it. If it's Adam Haler, it would be Haler Farms right here. And then that would be the only folder that is trusted for macros on your computer. And you need to do what works for you. I'm going to, I have to go back and do this because that's what works for me. Now, that's not the end. It's that trusted location, but you need to trust all the subfolders of that location also. So this has to be checked before you hit OK. So once you have those set, hit OK, then it puts that folder in a trusted location for macros. So then you hit OK, hit OK, and then you can close out of it. Now to disable them, it's just the opposite. So I'm going to open up a blank one, which I like to start with a blank one. Sorry about that. I go to File. I go to Options. Trust Center. Trust Center Settings. Macro Settings. And then you set it back to whatever it was, whatever setting it had when you enabled it. So if it was disabled with notification, then hit OK, work your way out. I'm going to leave mine enabled because I need to use it later today and for other videos. This is Francis Schaefer, Precision Soil Management. I really hope this was help, helpful for you, and thanks for listening.